Hello, my name is Alexa Shirk, and I am going to give you a brief tutorial of Reference USA. Reference USA is a subscription only database that is available through many libraries. As you can see, libraries are very important subscribers to Reference USA. There's even a list of the ones who subscribe to it on the front page. You can also take a tour, which gives you brief tutorials, but I'm giving you the tour, so we're not going to click that. I've learned from my observation this semester that Reference USA is one of the most often requested databases and one of the most popular. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of how it works. Okay, this is the basic search screen. Now, custom search is actually going to be more useful for us, but I'll just show you how this works briefly. I'll type in Dell Inc, which there was a question about Dell on one of our reference question sheets, and I will click View Results. As you can see, there are way too many companies with Dell somewhere in their name. So I'm going to go backward, and I know from the assignment that. Dell is located in Texas, so we're going to try this again. And I also know that Michael Dell is the founder, so I know this is the correct Dell. And that's actually one of the weaknesses of this database, is that you have to know some information if you're typing in a company like Dell, because if you don't know the location or who founded it, you're going to end up with a lot of companies that have similar names. So that's another reason why the advanced search is better. Anyway, here's Dell, and down at the bottom of the screen are a bunch of different links you can click that give you various data about Dell. I am going to click the management directory because that holds the answer to the reference question. As you can see, the members of the board are listed down at the bottom here. So, that was how I found the answer for that question. There are also other things like stock data that you can look at. A ticker symbol for Dell is Dell. So, that's how you look up information on a specific company. As I've told you before, there are two different ways of searching. Now I'm going to show you the custom search. Custom search is where you can search for different types of store without necessarily knowing the name. The best way to search is by keyword, even though the SIC and NAICS codes might be a little confusing. It will still help you find what you need. It's going to come up with yeah, quilts and quilts. Let's say we're looking for quilt shops in Detroit. So we're going to scroll down and click Detroit and then view results. As you can see, it only comes up with one result quilt shops in Detroit. Well, I know there has to be more than that around here. So, we'll go backward and we'll pick something else. City didn't work it so well, so we're going to try metro area. I'm going to go back to Michigan again. And what do we have for choices? Ah, Detroit, Warren, Livonia. That should give us a better idea. So we're going to view results again. And lo and behold, we have a good number of results. And here's the one that was in Detroit. So it will give you a list of a bunch of quilt shops that are in the Metro Detroit area, which is probably more useful to you if you're trying to open a quilt shop than just the one that's in Detroit, because all of these would most likely be your competitors. Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial of Reference USA.